Well, howdy folks, welcome to a solemn Sunday morning. Um, you know, I posted a couple videos about the move and during the move, we had a, a lot of stuff going on, obviously, as, as is with the move, but there was another topic that I didn't bring up at all is one of our friends um, actually passed away. He went into the hospital, um, you know, a little bit before we moved. And I think actually like the second day after we moved was the day that he passed. And it was really, really difficult. And it was very sudden. Um, and he was, he was a heck of a good guy. And some of you that have been a subscriber to my channel for a while know that I've done a few videos with Darn Pretty Smile, another YouTuber. And it was actually her husband. So, um, hard on a lot of levels. Anyway, um, I'll talk more about Andy after the video because I, I want to get to the song here. But um, Andy, my relationship with Andy was full of coincidences and there was another one and I feel like this is why I had to share this. So I went back and was listening to some songs that I had recorded years ago and I came across this song that I recorded in 2014 called A Little While. And I remember when I recorded it, I didn't like it. I was like, it's not a very good song. And I just kind of backburnered it. But I listened to it now and I was like, oh, yeah makes perfect sense now like it's so relevant to the situation and like I said life with Andy was all about coincidences I'll talk more about that after the video but here's a song called a little while that I wrote and recorded in 2014 set to some images of Andy hope you guys appreciate it <laughs> Just make sure there's lots of friends around Cause we're only here for a little while Yeah, we're only here for a little while And we can't change that Okay, so let me talk a little bit about Andy here. So first and foremost, he was like a multimedia madman. He was involved in a podcast and he went to a lot of film festivals and things. And I think that came through in a lot of the pictures. Uh, he and I went to Texas Frightmare together as well as a few other conferences. And uh, so I wore that shirt today for him. Um, but, uh, you know, he had lots of that kind of memorabilia and signed things, you know, and met a lot of different uh, stars that he liked and stuff. And, you know, it was just kind of him. But one of the things with Andy is like coincidence surrounded him. And, and when you would hang out with Andy, you would always get these incredible coincidences. And one such that I, that I would like to share is, um, you know, years ago we were and we were going shopping for, you know, albums and stuff at thrift stores and whatnot. And I remember we were in the basement where they had all the albums of this, this uh, antique shop. 
and we're looking through all these albums and he's kind of over here and I'm kind of over here and, and, um, you know, we're just kind of talking, you know, haphazardly and there wasn't really a whole lot of other people in there. And there was some music on the, you know, they always have music on in record stores and we were making comments about that and talking about how it, you know, it was electronic music and it had a certain vibe. And I was like, it almost kind of reminds me of Tangerine Dream. And he's like, uh, and he was literally holding this album, this Tangerine Dream album, uh, at the time that I said Tangerine Dream. Now, has anybody out there even heard of Tangerine Dream? I know some people have, but it's not, they're not a popular band. So the fact that I had just mentioned Tangerine Dream at the same time that he's holding a Tangerine Dream album, pretty crazy coincidence, but that happened all the time with Andy. That's why I bought this. And another thing, one time we were going to a film festival we were in the car on the way there, had a conversation. Ernest Borgnine come up. Ernest Borgnine. Whoever talks about Ernest Borgnine? I don't know. But anyway, it did. We get to the building where the festival is happening. We walk in the side door instead of the main door. Just accidentally, we walk in the side door. And Ernest Borgnine's name is on the wall in the building. And I forget exactly what ties he had to the building. But he did. And it's like what the heck? You know, and that was just the kind of stuff that always happened around Andy. Um, by the way, this is the new kitten. I don't think you guys have seen her yet. This is Loretta. But anyway, Andy was just a heck of a guy, a heck of a amazing soul, and he's really going to be missed. So um, anyway, I just thought that was another interesting coincidence with that song where when I wrote it, I didn't really understand why I wrote it. And now it seems to make perfect sense.